please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Misha Makes Friends by Tom Percival Misha loved making things. She could make pictures out of numbers and pictures out of sounds. Sometimes she made pictures out of both. But there was one thing that Misha found hard to make. Friends. Everybody else seemed to find it easy, but not Misha. 97 is the bluest number. When she tried, she didn't know what to do, what to say, or when to say it. Tag, you're it! For Misha, making friends was so difficult that she wondered if she would ever be able to do it. Then one evening, Misha had an idea. She got out her paints, her pencils and all her other tools. Then she started to cut and stick and glue and sew. Soon, she had made a whole group of really fun friends. Friends that were easy to be around. Friends that she could take with her wherever she went. Admittedly, Misha's new friends weren't very good at tennis or football or catch. But Misha felt comfortable with them and that was what mattered. One day, Misha's mum said they were going to a party. She said there would be lots of nice people there. She said it would be fun. Misha wasn't so sure. The party was noisy, chaotic and unpredictable. Everyone else was playing together and Misha just couldn't find a way to join in. She ran off to a find a quiet corner where she could make her own friends. Misha sat happily for a while until she realized that something didn't feel right. A boy was watching her. Hi, I'm Josh. Can I see what you're making? For a while, Misha said nothing. But then she took a deep breath and showed him her friends. Wow, gasped Josh. They are amazing. Can you show me how to make one? Misha was worried. What if he got it all wrong? What if he spoiled everything? But Josh didn't look like he would try to spoil things. So, Misha showed him what to do. And do you know what? Josh didn't get it all wrong. And he didn't spoil anything either. In fact, now that she was making things with someone else, it was even better. Soon Misha and Josh had built a whole town for their friends to live in, together. Let's go and show the others, said Josh. Misha wasn't sure, but Josh's smile made her feel that it would all be okay. And it was. For the first time ever, Misha knew exactly what to say and what to do. And that was how the friends that Misha made helped Misha make friends.